Wide Angle with Karen Coleman on News Talk 106 to 108. Uh, there's another issue um, which may suggest also another bit of a rift going on between the Greens and Fianna Fáil, which is on this uh, new legislation being proposed um, uh, for a blasphemy uh, bill. And Sarah McInerney, writing in today's Sunday Times, again back to you, Dan Boyle, says that Kieran Coff, Green Party TD, has said that his party will request that a referendum on blasphemy be held before the Justice Minister pushes through new legislation to make it a crime. And that she's saying that Kieran Coff said yesterday he believed many people would find the prospect of a law against blasphemy old fashioned and that the Greens would be asking Dermot Ahern to consider having a referendum on the issue. What do you think? Do you support Dermot O'Hearn's move to introduce a blasphemy yeah. law? Well, the Minister made a proposal last week and he, he announced an intention to put an amendment at committee stage with uh, a piece of legislation that's currently going before the Doyle. I, I must admit, I'm a member of the uh, Oireachtas Committee on the Constitution, and in recent months we've, we've already reported on the issue of blasphemy. Uh, and the, the committee, an all party committee, it's chaired by a Fianna Fáil chairman, uh, came to the conclusion that while uh, blasphemy shouldn't be removed from the Constitution, to legislate for it was a nonsense in the modern context. That, but that's uh, what Dermot O'Hearn wants to do. Uh, well, uh, that, that seems to be what the proposal is. We haven't seen what the actual amendment is. Uh, we don't know what the actual offence being proposed is, is likely to constitute of. But it does go against what an Arctic Committee has said. So you would not agree with the Justice Minister's announcement that new legislation to make it a crime should be brought into place? I'd like to hear his arguments a bit more, but certainly from where, where the committee is coming from and how the issue of blasphemy has been examined by an Arctic Committee, it doesn't seem very consistent with that. Um, I mean, the main religions in Ireland have said they didn't actually lobby for change, even though we kind of thought that was that the intention behind introducing this in the first place? Well, that, that, that was one of the issues that the Oireachtas Committee found on the, uh, the, the crime of blasphemy from, from the Victorian uh, definition of it. it. It only applies to Christianity in any case. And if you're talking about uh, causing offence in a wider sense to religious beliefs, uh, then it's very hard to legislate for that because people can and do believe in anything. But So it's a bit ridiculous, isn't it, to be suggesting that there should now be legislation for this? My understanding is that uh, the Cabinet in 2005 uh, decided that, that this is something that could be, be for, forward in uh, future legislation. But the, the current government has not discussed this issue, uh, and the Minister for Justice is making these arguments. So I, I think it's right to have a public debate on it. I mean, and then the idea that we might actually have to have a referendum on it now, that he sort of said something needs to be done about it. Well, I think that's a wider debate about whether it should be in the Constitution or not. I mean, Kieran, as Justice Spokesperson for the Greens, has made that proposal. But again, the Oireachtas Committee has said that while you can't legislate for blasphemy, it hasn't made a proposal that it should be taken away from the Constitution either. Oliver Gilvary, just on that point, what do, you, what do you make about this, the notion that we should have a law on this? Well, unemployment could be hidden 20%. You know, we still have the, the constitutional change to come in for the protection of, of children. You know, yeah, honest, exactly. Good point. You know, should yes. we, we really be worried whether FAC is a word that's blasphemy or other words? Yeah, I think, I, 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 Stephen, I think yes. um, Carol, a lot of people, myself included, are a bit confused about where this is come. And I, and, and I think Dan has shed some light on it this morning in terms of this is something that the Oireachtas Committee on the Constitution had, uh, that had not um, had um, uh, been recommended by them. And um, therefore, you know, I think that the popular reaction will be one of you know, dismay really, you know, it's kind of, you know, fiddling while Rome burns, does an, does an overtone exactly, of that to yes. it. yes. Wasting time on something like this when we actually have much more serious issues to be dealt with right now. Yeah, and uh, that is uh, exactly the point, I, I, I mean, and in fairness to uh, yeah, Dermot Ahern, the, you know, it, it reminds me a little again about the, the issue of, of some months ago to do with the, 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 the so-called uh, Cowengate portraits and all of this, that... It's sometimes unfair to, to politicians, be it Dermot O'Hearn in this case, where something is seized upon by the media and they do run with it out of proportion to the intrinsic merit of the issue. And suddenly the politicians are made to look very foolish and kind of behind the, 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 the gain line on, on, on key issues. I mean, I don't think that any member of cabinet would regard this as significant compared with trying to battle the horrendous and economic why crisis. why is even bothering with it in the first place? But again, I, I would just echo, Karen, what, what Dan has said. I, I, I don't know the genesis of this and to what extent, uh, you know, uh, Dermot O'Hearn has made it a, a major battleground. I, I doubt very much that he has. He's, you know, with, with the level of crime in, 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 in Limerick. But he's talking about introducing new legislation to make it a crime. 
Yeah, I, I don't I mean, yeah, I think why had, now I think spend wasting time on something like this when there are much more serious issues to be dealt with? Oh, I, listen, I absolutely agree with you. I, I, I would not for one moment say that this should be even probably in the top 50 items sure. on, on the government's agenda. But and, and therefore, I'm just echoing Dan's own kind of uh, curiosity about why it suddenly has jumped up at us, because it would seem to be out of turn there. Is, isn't that what you're saying, Dan? Yeah, I, I, the business of legislation doesn't stop. I mean, the priority continues to be the economy. Uh, and and I, I suppose that devotes 90% of the time of the government at any time. But for Octus Committee, sit, pieces of legislation are still being processed. Amendments are being suggested. Uh, and I, I think that's the context in which this debate is, is being held. And, and it probably is being inflated more than it should be. Okay, well, look, uh, let me know what you think, by the way. Um, Joe from Wexford has sent us in a text saying, Karen, this blasphemy ban would return us to the Dark Ages. A Hearn's defamation bill would impose a €100,000 fine for so-called blasphemous libel. Well, that is true. Uh, and then he goes on to say, this is just pandering to radical Islam after Muslim countries tried to pass a non-binding resolution at the UN Anti-Racism Conference calling for a ban on blasphemy. I am an agnostic and value my right to ridicule the mumbo jumbo I regard religion as being. The Greens must stop this. Anyway, 53106 if you'd like to send us in more of your text messages. We're getting a lot of calls and comments in already. Our phone number is 1894-53106. We've more stories to get through, not least other stories about uh, Brian Cowan approaching uh, his first anniversary as Taoiseach of the country. A lot of analysis written on that as well. Back with you on those stories in a moment. The Wide Angle with Karen Coleman on News Talk 106 to 108.